that they're, you're running into trouble, the biggest thing is just put your hand up like that. At that point, the, the scenario stops and we address Avery it. Taves gets instructions from the fire chief. Although she's still a summer student, she does the same job as a full-time firefighter. Take control. We'll make sure that happens. Local 14 is our operating channel. You can't see anything in front of you. You can reach out and you're just hit knowing by touch that your partner's right there. At 23 years old, she's passed the 12 week firefighting course at Lakeland College in Vermilion, Alberta, and also has the one year emergency services training course. The education has given her more confidence in life or death situations. Just to get over that initial fear is sometimes a little harder on some days than is other days, but it's just that whole turning your mindset. No, you need to be in, in the right mindset to get yourself through there because there's people on the, could be people on the other side that you need to go and rescue. We're on air, interior, command over interior. It's physically demanding work. The turnout gear is heavy and the breathing apparatus and air tank weigh about 40 pounds. After a week on the job, Taves cut her hair because it was too hot for her helmet. She also came to realize the job requires a lot of focus. Yes, I knew it was going to be a lot of work. Uh, mentally, no. I think we don't put that mentally, mental aspect into it very, as much. But it's, I would say it's actually very, very mentally. Mentally challenging that you're pushing yourself every day to be something better. Her superiors don't go easy on her because of her size or gender. Her duties are the same as every other candidate. We treat her no different than the rest of the crew. Um, we try to get her into as many scenarios as we can to give her that practical experience. Uh, she's, you know, seeing how it's like or what it's like to be in the fire service and if that's something for her and she's fitting in just well. Yeah. Tape says she likes being a role model. And I find it so exciting now, it's, uh, when yeah. I Let's see go. younger girls and they, they get so meal. excited to see me because it's not very common that you see females, you know, pull off your helmet and here's a female underneath the helmet. And just the look on their face is just, it absolutely pushes me through those, sometimes sometimes those harder moments. But it's, it's definitely really worth it. Before 2010, there was only an average of one to two women in the emergency services training course in Vermilion. But those numbers are changing. In 2011, the number of females in the firefighting 1001 course spiked to eight per session. A StatsCan 2011 survey reports only 2.4% of firefighters in the workforce are female, making Taves a trailblazer in the field. For GO, I'm Lisa Rizzo.